Hey, are you looking for the best smart display or smart clock with Amazon Alexa installed? Well, I have it right here. This is the Echo Show 5 by Amazon, and I'm gonna show you just how great this thing is. So let's get into it. So what I have right here is the Amazon Echo Show 5, and it's a small, compact, smart display packed full of features and integrated with the Amazon Alexa system. Now, I did say it is a smart display. However, I consider it more of a smart clock mostly because of the sheer size of the device, but we'll get into more of that a little bit later. So the Echo Show 5 is a 5.8 by 3.4 by 2.9 inch compact smart display. It contains a four watt speaker that has quite an impressive boost of full sound for such a small device. You even have the ability in the settings to fine tune your preferred sound with their equalizer if you're looking for a heavier bass, for instance. So the color of the device I currently have is the sandstone white. Now it also comes in a charcoal, which this is a fancy way of saying black. So between the two, you have white or black to pick from, whatever's your preference. So on the front of the device, we have a 5.5 inch touchscreen display with a pixel resolution of 960 by 480. Also just above the screen, there's a one megapixel camera that can be used for video calling other Alexa devices. On top of the Echo Show 5, we have a mute button to stop the device from listening to you. We have a volume down and a volume up button to control the volume, obviously. And we have a switch here that covers the front facing camera, just in case you feel uncomfortable with having a camera there viewing the entire time. We can cover it up, a little more privacy that way. So on the back of this device, we have a power plug, which obviously powers the device. We have a headphone jack that actually allows you to hook up this device to external wired speakers as well. And there's also a micro USB back here as well. So I actually have no idea what this micro USB plug is for. Um, not for the lack of trying, I just couldn't find it online anywhere. So if you have any clue, feel free to comment in the comments below and let us all know so we can figure out what it's for. So now moving on to the features of the Echo Show 5. Um, there's quite a bit. So compared to my Lenovo Smart Clock with Google Assistant, which I did a review on, so if you want to check that out, I'll pop it up here somewhere and you can check that out. I gotta say, I almost like this thing a little bit better. Alexa just seems to work a little more. So with Alexa running on the Echo Show 5, you're given all of these same great smart assistant tools wrapped in this small compact uh, device. And I mean, you've got actually got access to the Amazon store just with the sound of your voice. And if you're like me, it's pretty dangerous. I spend way too much money on there. But again, with Alexa, you have the wide range of assistant tools available to you. You can play movies, you can listen to music, set timers, ask for recipes, ask the weather, set reminders, alarms, control your smart home, and there's literally so much more you can do. Heck, you even have the ability to add skill apps to Alexa through just asking her to suggest any or going through the Alexa app and, and searching through them. Like this one's my personal favorite. It's called Ambient Visuals Fireplace, and now I have an awesome fireplace right now on my desk, keeping me all cozy while I work away and record this video. So the camera on the front of the device is a great add-on feature as well because we can also use it for Skyping, we can use the Alexa drop-in feature so we can call other Alexa devices uh, within the house or someone else's house as long as they allow it and communicate with them through the camera, which is pretty cool. So if you have a baby and you want to use this as a baby monitor, you can also do that as well. As long as you have a Wi-Fi uh, smart camera and you can hook up somewhere, you can actually watch your child through the device just to make sure everything's doing fine. Also, if you have a smart doorbell, you can even peek through and see who's at the front door using this device right here as well. Just keep in mind that depending on what your smart doorbell system is, the features may differ a little bit. For example, uh, if you're like me and you have a ring doorbell system, not only will Amazon Alexa notify you when someone's at the door, you can also communicate back and forth with that person at your door through the device. However, if you have like, something like a Google doorbell, Nest doorbell, you can see through who's at the door, but you can't do two-way communication with them. That's just the unfortunate truth. Okay, so let's talk about this device as a smart clock and the functionality in that area. So the Echo Show 5 comes with five themed clocks to choose from. You've got the personal photos theme where you can have your photos from Facebook or Amazon photos, your account linked up to your device, and you can use those photos as the background of your clock face. You've also got the Show 5's library of pre-made themes like modern, playful, photography, which is the stock photos built into the device, and classic, which each of these areas have multiple choices within to customize them. Not only do you pick the theme, but you can set the background itself, the clock face, the positioning of where you want the clock face, whether or not you want the date shown, or even the weather to show up on the screen as well. 
And within the clock functionality, you also have access to a night mode. So this night mode will trigger a version of the clock face that will adjust according to the brightness of the room. So if you have this next to your bedside when you sleep, it will dim down to help you sleep, but allow you to still see the clock. Or you can manually create a schedule to tell the device when you want to dim or brighten as well. You also have the ability to toggle on a sunrise effect on the clock as well. So for example, in the morning, about 15 minutes before the alarm goes off, the screen will gently brighten up to its max brightness to create that sunrise effect, ease your wake up, the alarm will go off, you can just tap the device to snooze and go back to sleep if you want to or get up if you gotta go to work. But the great thing about the Show 5 is you don't only get to choose the clock face you want to have set on your device, but you can also customize it a little more than that. In the home screen appearance settings, you can also have the main screen cycle from the clock face to discover tips on what Alexa can do for you give you the final scores on your sport teams, your notifications, more photos of your choosing, reminders, stocks, trending news topics, recipes, upcoming events, weather alerts, and forecasts as well. Also, before we go any further, if you're getting any value out of this whatsoever, I'd love to invite you to go down and hit that subscribe button, give the video a thumbs up, and hey, while you're down there, leave a comment. Let me know, do you like Alexa better? Do you like Google better? I'm curious, I'm kinda on the fence, but I'm curious what you, what you think. Okay, so should you buy this? So having the ability to have a small, compact, smart display or smart clock with a video feature included in it at this price point is pretty amazing because considering that a lot of Google products at this price point don't include a camera and the ones that do are ridiculously expensive. And also with the built-in camera cover, that's a pretty great feature to cover this camera up if you don't feel comfortable having it around, but you still want to have that camera feature once in a while. The screen is pretty small though, however. I mean, if you want to use it for Netflix, it's not the greatest thing to kind of view it on, considering the size of this thing. Also, speaking of Netflix, I have this weird issue and I don't know what it is, but every time I'm watching a show, for some reason, random periods of the show, it'll just cut out, go to the main screen, I gotta ask Alexa to pull it back up again, and then it completely messes up my show watching experience. It's really frustrating. Also, because YouTube is a Google product and not an Amazon product, we have to use the built-in web browser to view YouTube, which is absolutely horrible, not fun at all. It sucks. However, the sound on this device is incredible. For the size of it, it sounds amazing, it sounds full, and compared to my Google Home Mini, this thing sounds way better. And the ability to adjust the equalizer settings for the sound built into the device itself is a pretty cool feature to fine tune your listening experience. And for the cost of $90 USD, I believe, I think it's a pretty great value for what you're getting. So, and these things go on sale on Amazon all the time too, so you can check that out also. Well, that's it from me. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Take it easy.